Yeah, um, super special. Um, I've been kind of thinking about it a lot this whole week, and just like how it's gonna go. But um, I'm just happy we got the dub, and um, everyone's showing love. So um, it's it definitely a special night for me. And you know, I was out there by myself as a senior, so <laughs> you know, it was a little different than last year. Oh yeah, Drew. Drew texts me. We we play video games all the time together, so he be talking smack. But <laughs> yeah, I always hear from Drew. And how we've talked to you about it before, but Gonzaga Prep, you know, Duke, Gonzaga, like the King of Spokane. We were joking. What is it like to say, "Hey, this is my last game"? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of bittersweet. Um, I've been in Spokane forever. It feels like, but this really is my home. You know. Um, Everyone treats me, treats me like like it's their home, and, and you know it's just a whole big family. It feels like so. Right. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to leave, but um, I'm excited for that next step. But we still got a lot of a lot of season to finish, so I'm excited for that. Say that one more time. I'm sorry. In pre-game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, the um, media team did a great job on the interview. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, they wanted me to run through. I wanted, I was ready to run through a wall. Um, yeah, the video was fire, man. It was, it was dope seeing his family out there too. Um, yeah, man, and even the managers, you know, they got to get mm-hmm. in there and show their, you know, um, it was their senior night as well too. So it was, yeah. it was a good, it was a good experience. I was, I was excited to see it. Do you feel like this is as well as you guys have played all year? Season Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. What's, uh, what's gotten to that? Why do you think that's the case? Um, honestly, man, I just think um, we're starting to fill into ourselves. Um, I think we're um, we're starting to get a real good understanding of what the game plan is with every team. Um, yeah, man, and honestly, we just – I feel like we could do even better on the defense end, but I feel like we've been buckling down um, on, on a lot of teams on the defense end. So I feel like that's been helping us um, – Helping us in general. The game from Vasquez tonight. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. How, how big is that to get him going to burn her on the court? Most definitely. A uh, huge. Um, I just hope that that gets his confidence going because, um, you know, he ain't been playing the way he's been wanting to play. So, um, yeah, it, it was much needed for him. <clears throat> you got a wall of guys up there, five or six picks, uh, but you guys still got your. Yeah, um, it's definitely tough. Um, they got a lot of big guys, strong guys. Um, but I think I think we had the right mindset. Um, kind of going in the second half of, you know, they gonna get tired and we we gotta win win the glass in the second half. Um, because I think we were losing the first half on the boards. But yeah, I think our guards did a good job too, coming in and helping us rebound. I think we need that from them. And then. You know, Benny, Graham, myself, you know, we, we got to hold it down and make sure the big guys don't get easy putbacks. But, yeah, our guards did a good job helping us. There's a big games coming up for you guys. Just any thoughts on San Fran or uh, St. Mary's? It's going to be a battle. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all know that. Um, starts off with San Fran. Um, that's that's a game in front of us. So um, we got to put our hard hats on and um, – yeah, it's going to be a battle. How about you guys want to get back in the I feel like we, same way we wanted to get Santa Clara out the way, I feel like it's the same way with St. Mary's, man. So, yeah, we ready. Anthony, what do you think this team has changed since you guys went down to Santa Clara and lost that game a month ago? Oh, we changed a lot. Um, we was even watching film on that game, <coughs> and it, it was a rough film session. But, uh, Coaches kept reminding us that you know we've gotten better and you know we've just been playing playing a lot a lot more fluid with each other. So uh, the offensive end, yeah, that's that's been clicking right now. I think defense we can we can do even better, but um, defense feel like it's clicking a little bit. You know, there's spurts where we get a couple stops in a row, which is which is really good. So um, yeah, I feel like we're flowing right now. Any more for you guys? Uh, I think 
it comes up a lot. You know, everyone says I'm a true Zag, and you know that's I feel like that's the best compliment anyone can give me. Um, just to embody what it means to be a Zag, and just the people, the players who came before me, and you know, I, I looked up to them, and it's you know I can it's cool that I can represent that in, in the city of Spokane, and um, a lot of kids look up to me, so you know that that's the best compliment I could get. Oh, he's gonna get some smack talk. I'm gonna send him a text right after this. I didn't even know that, but no, nah, that's yeah. Um, he's always he's always watching from behind the scenes, and um, you know if I if I'm playing bad or you know I'm doing something not right, he'll send me a little text just to remind me. So on um, that relationship, you know, it's always gonna be there. Oh, I mean, we they gave us everything they got there. I mean, we had our hands full and had had a real problem, especially in that first half stopping them. But our, fortunately for us, our offense was clicking at a really, really high level. But uh, yeah, that is a really good basketball team. They're big and and uh, physical. I mean, that's one of the more physical teams. You know, they're built like maybe our 17 team was with the size they have. And uh, just their understanding and willingness to really work everything kind of through those bigs. And then, you know, O'Neal started out on fire and, and uh, uh, you know, let them get a couple catch and shoot threes. And, and uh, when they're, they're hitting you inside and out, that makes it really, really hard. But I, we responded, kept our offense going. And uh, then our defense got a lot better in the second half. It was much, much better in the second half. Yeah. Good night, yeah. It was a great night. In fact, I told the team afterwards, that's the Dusty. That's the guy we recruited. That's the guy who started the year for us, making plays like that and and, uh, and just doing everything. That's the beauty of Dusty. It's not the threes. It's the flying around, getting putbacks, making plays on defense, uh, just just doing everything. He fills every box. So, yeah, it's a great call. And, and – uh, yeah, we needed everything tonight because we got a little bit of foul trouble. You guys were talking about watching the film from the first Nick Claire game. Where do you think this team has evolved and grown since that game five months ago? I mean, well, clearly, I, I mean, I feel like our offense is more purposeful and, uh, you know, just we're a little bit have a better understanding, especially when we play the three bigs. I think. We had that out there for times during that game, and it was a little bit disjointed. Uh, and yeah, I mean, like Ryan's used to playing now with Graham, and and you know Graham's used to playing with Ben, and kind of all those different combinations, and and just kind of working on our way through that. Is we're much more cohesive on that end. We've also settled in on some good defensive coverages that certainly look better in the second half than they did in the first, but. Yeah, again, we we just have not ran into teams with that size and that willingness really to, you know, go at us kind of inside out uh, like they did. Nice to see Anton get that type of send off from the crowd. Yeah, I mean it's. Connected, I guess, with mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Yes, very much so. Perfect, perfect ending. I remember you telling us. <coughs> Well, I mean, uh, tremendously. Uh, I mean, especially probably the most this past year. I mean, with, without his sidekick Drew around, he's he's had to really, you know, own a lot of these big possessions down the stretch of these games, and 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 he's done it. He's done it, you know, masterfully. And and even tonight, he got off to a slow start and picked up a couple of tough fouls, but he didn't. You know, we didn't lose him for the game. We got him back in there, and he was a big factor, obviously, in that second half. And I think. There's your sign of growth, just just right there, and uh, and he just impacts games in just so many different ways. Those steals, off the ball on post feeds, you know, breaking presses and and uh, everything. It's it's uh, uh, it's amazing. And, and I heard you guys talking about John. It just goes goes back to John coaching him in AAU and all the coaches that were with him. You know, and his high school coach and. They did a great job because he 
you know, he's not a one trick pony. He, he does everything really, really, really well. And it's, it's getting more and more rare to find players like that, quite frankly. Yeah. I mean, he, hey, he's meant a ton, of, ton to us. And obviously, it's so nice to have somebody from Spokane, you know, good enough to play here. And not, not only good enough to play here, but good enough to start and be such a, you know, an all-league type player. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's just a great teammate. He's a great person. Comes from a great family. Wherever he's been, he's just well-loved. And, uh, I mean, what more could you ask for? Yeah, we had a battle tonight. We had a we had a big time battle tonight. I mean, it, this took everything we had, and yeah, I mean Thursday is going to be as physical as this and intense. Uh, San Francisco brings a, a real intensity and a real physicality, and and uh, uh, you know I don't, they're playing great. I don't know us and St. Mary's are the only teams that have been able to do anything with them. So uh, uh, that's going to be a huge, huge challenge, and then just a short. Prep after that, and we got to go to uh, St. Mary's. So uh, um, it'd be great. I mean, it's, it's it's these guys have taken care of business to put ourselves back in position to, you know, we got to go out and perform. Were you pretty happy to get that USF game at the Chase Center rather than there? Bear Jim can get pretty hostile. Uh, Rowdy, uh, do, do you think it helps you guys a little bit? I mean, I don't know. Nah, I mean, I haven't really even thought much about it, quite frankly. Just, I mean, it. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, it'll, it's going to be a hard game no matter where it's at. It's going to be a really hard game. So, I mean, I hopefully, you know, their fans down there, there will support it and it'll come out and be a great crowd like it usually is when we play them. And, uh, uh, yeah.